Hey everybody, this is Joel from Back Road Builds. Once you've purchased your welder and start doing more projects, at some point you'll need to weld on stainless steel. Let's talk about what you'll need and some of the differences that you'll see welding stainless steel. First thing you need to know is what type of stainless steel the base material is because you'll want your filler wire to match the base material. You'll also need shielding gas. There are a few different gases available, such as 98, 2, and Trimix, but you should check your machine to see what is recommended. A couple of things you might notice also are the sound wall welding and the color of the finished bead. To me, MIG welding stainless steel has more of a harsh sound to the arc versus welding on mild steel. If you have your settings and travel speed dialed in, you can get some nice color too in your weld bead. If you have a dark gray weld bead when finished or there's some crystallization on the back side of your weld, you're probably running too hot or possibly traveling too slow. The welding technique for stainless is the same as welding mild steel. It's all about your torch angle, tip to work distance, and travel speed. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. So first let's talk about torch angle. You're gonna to wanna to get your torch 90 degrees away from you and then tilt it back 10 to 15 degrees before you start welding. Now if you have your torch up too straight, you're not going to be able to see where you're welding. If you have your torch tilted too far back, you're going to lose shielding gas and you could wind up with porosity in your weld and a lot of spatter. Next, let's talk about tip to work distance. Once you get your torch angle set, you're going to want to be about 3 eighths to a half inch away from the work material. Now if you get too close, what's going to happen is you're going to run the risk of burning back to the tip. If you're too far away, what will happen is you'll get a lot of chatter and spatter and you're not going to frickin' like it. Alright, the last thing we need to talk about is travel speed. Once you have your torch angle set, your tip to work distance set, you're going to want to pull the trigger, get that weld pool started, and then move along at a pace where you keep that wire out in front of the weld pool. Now if you go too slow, what's going to happen is you're going to build, be up on top of your weld pool, there's going to be a lot of spatter, and your bead's going to get really wide and high. On the other hand, if you go too fast, your weld, your weld will be very narrow and thin and you won't get any penetration down in the root. This should give you the information that you need in order to be successful at welding your first stainless steel project.